I find it fascinating and interesting just how much more free people were able to be in the way they communicated back in the 1980s. We were certainly a lot more no-nonsense, that's for damn sure. As time has gone by, a generalized set of speech codes have become more and more strict. I'd say it was around 2010 when the latest wave of speech codes started getting pushed everywhere. And by 2017, it was pretty unreasonable, only becoming even more unreasonable since. The speech codes you see on some college campuses, as well as in workplaces, eventually start making their way into social media and just the way that people communicate in general. This is not about people becoming more empathetic. It's about people being scared to say how they really feel about a number of subjects. As of right now, and it probably will remain that way, the United States has the First Amendment. So speech codes can't be enforced by the government like they can in the UK, but they're certainly enforced other ways. You can completely lose your livelihood if you state the wrong opinion in any sort of public way at all. You know, regardless of how many people agree with it, regardless of how true it is, and regardless of the fact that it might not have been said out of hate. The number of things you're supposed to only have one opinion about have grown exponentially. Again, especially over this last decade. This has seriously affected comedy, where the only things you're permitted to make fun of are straight, white, cisgender males, especially if they're Christian and Republican politicians. Anything else is considered punching down and is worthy, or is apparently worthy, of being labeled something that ends in istrophobic, and you should even, you know, in some cases, have your livelihood destroyed. You know, and as far as what it's done to comedy, I mean, that sure makes things pretty dull, doesn't it? How many jokes can you make about straight, white, cisgender, Christian males or uh, Republican politicians before it gets completely stale? It's as if a lot of people don't really even know what humor is anymore. The concept of genuinely laughing at something has been replaced with clapping. Like, oh, I'm so proud he said that, instead of actually genuinely laughing out loud at something. Donald Trump is like an 80s throwback in almost every way. He doesn't care at all about the speech codes that have infiltrated society. And that's probably the biggest reason why he's hated. He has no filters, and he spreads the idea that we all shouldn't have any filters. I used to hate on him for that as well, because I've worked so hard over these years on my filters. I used to pride myself in my filters, to be honest. I mean, and there's nothing wrong, particularly wrong, with having filters, as long as they're not mandated. And so the notion of people losing their filters on, on a large scale was quite alarming to me. I was terrified by it before. But... Since speech codes have gotten so out of control, and there's very little comedy that's genuinely funny anymore, I've had to be not so uptight about the whole thing. We should be able to banter, to be able to make fun of people in jest, no matter what their demographics are. We need to be allowed to try to out-offend other people. But most of all, we need to be able to have fun in the things we say. If we really want multiculturalism to work, we need to have these things. Otherwise, we're pushing the notion that there should be no diversity of public thought. And that's incompatible with a number of cultures, just saying. 